Hey everybody, how's it going? Our house 21 here, and I've been playing around a little bit with my newly installed Mama Monster X here. So as you can see, you know, I've got Surly in front of me, and I've got it connected up via Castle Link. So you can see here, once the screen adjusts, I actually have a data log from a little bench top test that I was just doing here. And this is interesting data that I figured I just might as well go ahead and show you guys. So if you look here, you can see that I've got a few different plots showing. I've got the total voltage is over here. So you can see here it's creeping along. I'm running 3S, one 3S pack right here with one of my little jumpers. So it's just below 12 volts. Basically, the battery's at storage voltage. And I was blipping the throttle, just seeing what happens here. So you can see in this chart right here, this little plot, that is the current in amps. So I blip the throttle. Oh, and also over here, you can also see this blue plot is the motor power. So this is basically what I commanded the power to go to. So how far it pulled the trigger. So here, a little blip, see a current spike, voltage dip. Here, blip the throttle a little bit further, see another current spike, and you see voltage dip a little further. And um, this little plot right here, that is just BC voltage. Actually, let me take that off. That's not giving us very much useful information. But let me go to ripple voltage over here. This is a lot more interesting. So, got that. Let's readjust here. So, if you look right here, what's going on, now you see this little plot right in here. That's the ripple voltage. So, that shows you exactly how much ripple we're getting when I'm boosting the throttle, which is kind of an interesting number. So, if you watch, like here at the top of the plot, I hit the throttle a little bit. Yeah, hit the throttle a little bit, get current spike. And as I've been talking a lot in my videos, when you have a current pull on your battery, based upon what your internal resistance is, you're gonna have your voltage drop. So, by looking at these spikes, and by looking at what the current draw is, I can actually get a pretty good estimate of what my real world voltage sag is. Well, I can directly measure the voltage sag, but I can get a pretty good real world estimate of what the internal resistance of the battery at particular load levels is. So this is pretty exciting to me. I'm still gonna to try to rig up some sort of test where I can put in a control load and log this data. But the nice thing about having this particular ESC is that I can then, I can get real world numbers using the Mamba Monster X and I can get benchtop data using my current meter. And I can compare those two numbers and see how they compare. So I'm pretty excited about that. But as you can see right here, I was playing around just goosing the throttle. And here I went to 100% wide open throttle. So interesting thing happened. So this actually kind of simulates what happens in a run. So I'll just blow this up a little bit. So you can see right here, I went to 100% wide open throttle. And the current spiked initially, and that's what happens under hard acceleration. And as you can see, as the current was coming up, the voltage was going down and it stayed on. As soon as I, but then what happened is as soon as it got to 100% RPM, then it backed off. And at that point, the current dropped because it was no longer accelerating and the voltage actually recovered almost perfectly. And it leveled off this point, which you can read on the bottom of the graph here is 11 volts, so 0.3 volts down from where uh, Max was. So then you can see I'm still under load. So there's still current flowing, but this is just enough current to sustain things. So I'm only flowing eight amps at this point and it's kind of trickling down. <laughs> then when I get off, current goes back down to zero, voltage recovers. These data logs are filled with a lot of interesting data. And you can dig in here and you can find out all sorts of interesting things about what your ESCs are doing 
under what conditions and this information is going to be be very useful when I get into runs so I can tune my setup. All right, so that's enough of the geek stuff for a second. Oh, let's see if there's anything else interesting here to show. Okay, for the heck of it, just do RPM one here. So I'm going to look at the same little bit of data and just look at what the motor RPM did. So looking back at here, so now here, this brown plot is the motor RPM. So this. The exact number doesn't really matter too much, although you can figure it out from over here. But you can see I go wide open throttle, motor RPM runs up, it levels off. Those ones that hit max RPM, you can also see that the voltage levels off. Now, as they hit max RPM, the current levels off. And then once I get off the throttle and her spin down, the current goes to zero and the voltage goes back up. To the, the, the steady state. So, this is, let's say, pre all pretty interesting data. So, I end here. What's this blue spike here? This motor power output. Hmm. So, it's showing that when I hit the brake, the motor power output goes up to what they're calling 70% ish. Okay, that's interesting. All right, but like I said, this is there's a lot of interesting data in here. You can see along the bottom, I can choose to look at watts, so my watt output or horsepower. You can have it full horse either way. I can look at temperatures and pretty much the whole nine yards, or I can save this all as a CSV file and bring it up in Excel and look at everything. So, like I was saying, this is going to be really rich to pull out all sorts of information about what my vehicle is doing and how it's doing it. But also, I'll be able to give or get good calculations of in-run um, internal resistance, so I can see how healthy my batteries are and how well my batteries are performing. So I'm pretty excited about this. So actually, you know what I'm going to do? I've got my new bias batteries, so I'm going to grab one of those guys and basically do the same thing and see how it performs, and that should be interesting. All right, guys. Okay guys, I went ahead and swapped in my bias battery here and I did a couple pulls and downloaded the data. So this is just one of the pulls I did and I can scroll back and show some of the others. But I've got encouraging data and I've got not so encouraging data out of this. So the encouraging part is I looked and you can see here, this is the peak, the current peak that I went to. So at this point, it actually shot up to, um, actually this is my peak. Hold on. I was able to peek out at, here we go. I was able to peek this thing out at just under 80 amps. You know, so 78.9 amps here. Yeah, 78.9 amps. And the voltage dropped down to 9.8 volts. So that's, you know, a little bit more current than I got from the previous battery. So, but the voltage drop is, you know, still almost two volts. The good news is the battery recovered very quickly again. And you can see as the load, as I came off the load. And um, so this is basically when the battery, or when the motor got to maximum RPM, a level off. Yeah, everything leveled off. So this is also good news because this car has the bulk of orange seals for bearings in it. And the default stock bearings had, or stock-like bearings, because I found out that a couple of the bearings in this were not stock. But either way, the stock bearings were really low resistance. I think it was something like 90 watts. But here, you know, I'm cruising at like 73 watts. So that's a significant savings. So this doesn't take a place with full formal benchmarking and that will be coming soon. But you can see that, you know, it's not taking a whole lot of juice to make this thing spin. This is a very free flowing drive line. So that bodes well for minimizing drive line losses. So I'm pretty excited about that. Not so excited about this data up in here. Cause this says that, you know, 
my internal resistance under load may come back and may bite me with these biased batteries as well. So I've got another set of really high quality batteries coming in. So I'm gonna do some of this type of testing with it. Now the cool thing is that if you know how to do your math right, you know, you have all the data in here to produce some really interesting uh, plots and, um, and, and data from the log. And for example, I know what my wheel RPM is. Or I should say I know what my motor RPM is every step along the way here. So I could very easily take this data and I can convert this into wheel RPM and convert that into wheel speed. And so I could make a plot of what my actual speed is versus time. And since I know the rev I know the diameter of the tires, I can actually track every wheel revolution, meaning I can get a distance measurement as well. So I could actually put together a complete set of profiles for time and distance over run, saying exactly how far into your run I or how far into my run I hit my top speed and all the other information. So it's all in here. You just have to know how to crunch the math. And that's some of the stuff I'm gonna be producing for my runs so I can analyze how much of my, uh, how much of the area available am I using, you know, and, you know, and uh, basically help to train me to optimize my technique, make myself a better driver, and in turn, make my speed runs more efficient and faster. That's just what it all boils down to. All right, I hope you guys found this interesting. Our house when you're signing out, remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. And don't forget to get in there and just roll up your sleeves and get dirty. You know, there's a lot of good data inside these ESCs. And you know, you're going to have to have a data logging ESC to collect good data. You know, you guys have seen some of my other test apparatus. But the biggest thing is just paying attention in the run and listening to what your car is telling you. Because your car is going to give you a lot of information just from driving. So pay attention, listen to what your car is telling you. You should be able to get some good runs in. All right, guys. Our house, our house will be signing out. Peace.